so I have been uh, propagating my uh, yam or not yummy by saving a piece of the root or the tuber and uh, allowing it to develop a shoot and start to root. Uh, this year I decided to do a little experiment and I was just trying to find my way in. Please to discover that my experiment really actually worked. As you can see this here, this is a vine of the yam, which is the family of Dioscoria alata. And what I did is I put the vine touching the soil in the pot. And as you can see, it is well rooted in there. And here's the new growth. I'm going to try to get that out of here without damaging too much roots because I'm hoping that the purple yam there is already developing a tuber underneath the soil. So I'm going to try to dig that without damaging much uh, roots around it. That's my purple yam area tuber. I had to be extra careful not to damage it. That's my purple yam area tuber and there's quite a good amount of area tuber going on. They're hiding as you can see. Those are purple yam and I do have some area tuber from the regular yam which I will eventually be able to show you but for now I do not want to mess with my uh, yam foliage so much. So I'm going to attempt to try and dig this out. I hope I'm focusing. Sorry. Okay. One hand on the camera and the other hand trying to dig this new growth right here. Right there. Without damaging my very precious purple yam. The feeding root is right on the surface so I have to be extra careful. gonna take a while. Let me get you off of the camera for now so I could use both hands. I really don't want to damage the feeding roots which are right on the surface of the soil. Okay, I think I got this loosened up. Right, uh, Daddy, uh, cut it right about here please. Uh, yeah. yeah, be careful with my finger. Cut it? Yeah. Okay, now as you can see there goes the very delicate roots. I'm trying to get as much of it as I can. I know that it will it should be able to make it here as long as I don't damage too much of the root. This one seems to be deeply rooted here. I'm gonna try to get as much of it as I can before I cut it. Because I don't think I could keep on digging deeper without damaging my yellow I mean my purple yam okay I just have to snap it there you go I'm gonna have to and here it goes and as you can see there's actually that l tiny little aerial tuber attached to that I did not even realize that but there's an aerial tuber right there. Look, Daddy. You see? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as you can see, look at all of those delicate roots and a tiny, I mean so tiny, what the growth there seems to me is an aerial tuber. And I'm just going to put it right here very gently I'm not going to put it too deep just enough so that I could cover the root and leave the these two leaf two leaves I'm sorry out of the soil 
so there it is that's my experimental uh, method of propagating yam I will show you again how I, w I went about it I'm gonna water it with some organic fertilizer this is what I did this vine here as you can see it's nice and long and all I did was put it right in the pot and as it keep on growing it's in contact with the soil and as I water the plant the soil cover it eventually and it started growing root and that's one way I find out that I could propagate my yam do you remember I showed you that uh, this was an experiment what I did was I grabbed a vine like this right here just hanging down like that I put it inside that pot as you can see that I have put some more vines in there and discovered that some of that that vine but this particular vine right here actually rooted and there it is I have a new baby yam propagated by taking this vine hanging down like that close to the pot so I put it in there and then the process is started growing roots and I won't be surprised that, if, uh, that there are some vines in there that are also uh, rooting already and I am so pleased to see there are a lot of aerial tuber or aerial potato air potatoes growing in there as well so this is what's happening with my greenhouse right now so far things are looking nice so as you can see my yams are thriving actually growing some aerial tuber this year and I was even able to do experimental another experimental propagating uh, method